Hello and welcome back to Panting of the Geeks. Uh, today we've got another Necromunda video for you today. Uh, we have the Book of the Outcast of a Quick Look at, and we have the Iron Ironhead Squat Prospectors, which is the new uh, box and the first box of plastic squats. A long time. We also have uh, some other Necromunda models, we'll do that in a separate video. Uh, I have the Ridge Hauler to unbox, that'll be a separate video. Um, I'm going to do some shorter videos these days. Uh, just to have the time to actually do any. So let's have a quick look at this book. Uh, I'm going to go into too much detail. I'm going to show you what is in here if you've not already seen it. I'll just uh, have some quick change of angle here. There we go. Right. So we have again the kind of front page with the gates down and cleared on. Um, first part of the book is the Ash Waste Nomads. This is an updated list um, from the uh, the main box set. If you've got the main box set, um, the right list away because it's of no use whatsoever because this list replaces it entirely with some new rules, uh, points costs and uh, equipment. So stuff that uh, you won't find actually on the models as well. So I'm hoping at some point they'll do an add-on. Again, this comes back to my all the weapons should be on those sprues to start with, but we'll get onto that again later. Uh, so we have the Ash Wastes Chieftain. So we have two pages of stuff for him. Then we go on to the Champion. So this is set exactly the same as any other gang list. Uh, we have the um, Prospects though. And then we have Gang of the, and then we have Juves, or the, their version of it. We have another black and white image. Quite cool these images, I do like them. Um, and then we're on to the Iron Head Squat Prospectors, the box we're doing today. Uh, we have some information on the, on the squats and the gang position. There's not tons, there's actually just these couple of pages. Slightly disappointed. I would have liked more information on the squats because they are brand new. But there we go. Uh, we have the Charter Master, who is the leader, and we have lots of nice things on here. We have the Ironhead bolt gun and Ironhead uh, auto gun. We have Ironhead auto pistols, bolt pistols, hand flamers, Ironhead stub guns with dum dum rounds. We have the stone burner. We have Ironhead Flamers, Ironhead Melter Guns, Ironhead fl Heavy Flame, <laughs> Heavy Stubber, Mining Laser. Then we have the Circular Stone Saw, Fighting Knife, Gem Extractor, Ironhead Arc Welder, uh, Power Axe, Power Fist, Power Hammer, Power Pick. And then we have like the war gear options down this side, anywhere from uh, Grenades, Armor, which starts with Heavy Carface, and Light, Flak and Mesh. We have the fields, uh, displacer, conversion, refractor. We have personal equipment, same sort of stuff uh, that you get in other gang lists. Uh, we have bio boosters, drop rigs, filter plugs, grav shoots, Medicaid kit, uh, photo goggles, photo luminous, uh, respirator, and then we have some weapon sites down here the infosite, the monosite, and so on. So there's a lot of options on here, a lot of different weapons on here. Uh, the champion, uh, again, we have all those options on here. We've got the special weapons again of the flamer and multi melter. We have the drillkin, which is the gangers. Again, they also have special weapons, uh, flamer and melter gun on there. Did I say multi melter before? Sorry, I meant melter gun. Uh, and then we have the uh, the Jeeves again, and they've got a, a, the more limited list on there. We also have the squat crew for crewing a vehicle. And their stats, and some of the gear that they can have as well. It's, pretty, it's like a reduced list again. Nice picture of Bug. And then Wasteland Gangs. So this is stuff that all gangs can have, and this is how you make a, a waste on gang, sign vehicles and everything. 
Uh, a nice piece of war gear here is one I didn't realise would be in this. I was hoping it would because I did buy some uh, G Silver bikes converted from my Orlocks, and thankfully we have Wasters dirt bikes, so it wasn't just a, a big waste of a purchase just to get a Wolf quad. It, I can actually use the dirt bikes, convert some Orlocks up riding those dirt bikes. Uh, they might end up more like choppers when I'm done, to be honest, um, but we shall see um, what they look like when they're done. But they're 50 credits and can be added as a piece of war gear to any model. Uh, basically increase the movement by 8. I can't remember if there's anything else it does. Gains the mounted condition. Uh, just can't have other uh, war gear then, like uh, jump boosters, etc. So, cool. I'm glad that's in there. Um, then we have vehicle crews. So we have an Orlock Iron Rider crew. We have a Scum racer crew and then we have the guild coin hauler crew i was hoping we would have goliath asher and Delac, delac um cardo and van Sar versions as well but no we've just got the orlock ones some scum ones where anyone can take and the guild of coin so i imagine we're going to get some another book and hopefully it'll just be a book with all the others in or something like that I really don't want second edition house books, which the only difference is they've got some a crew section um, and maybe a very specialised vehicle. I really hope we don't go down that route, but it's game of workshop. We shall see. Uh, the vehicle crew skills and equipment lists here. We have uh, custom vehicles, which we'll get onto the Wasteland Workshop later on. Uh, we have Wolf Quads, Ridge Runners, Rock Grinders, and a Lock Outrider Quad, and then we have the Ridge Hall on there as well and that's just the points cost for those and the points cost for like, the weapons for the crews not for the vehicles they're later on hangs on and brutes we have in this section more of the rules we have this dude who is awesome We've, you've probably seen the model on the community of this already I look forward to getting one of these uh, this is the uh, basically Exo suit, the Exo driller, and uh, a mini squad dreadnought. If you I think that's going to be cool. Uh, then we have the Outland Beastmaster, which was a nice surprise in this book. Beastmasters used to be in Necromunda a long time ago. It's cool to see them return. Uh, you can have up to two of them, and this, they return with the uh, actual creatures they had originally as well. We have uh, uh, some giant rats. We have the Millisaurs, which there is a picture of them there, and we have the uh, Ripper Jacks. I'm quite glad they're back because they were cool. Uh, then we have another nice picture, and then we get onto the Wasteland Workshop. This is where we're going to be building our vehicles. So we have the light vehicle, so that's basically like a wolf quad. Uh, that's the sign of size that they're looking at for that. Then we have medium vehicles, so that's basically the Ridge Runner. Then we have heavy vehicles, which is basically the Goliath, which they've never mentioned as a Goliath. And you know, I think it's just to confuse, not to confuse people to be able to think it's just for Goliaths. They always just call it the Rock Grinder. But and then we have Walkers, so that's basically Sentinel. And then that's it basically. So that you choose one of your bodies and then choose the add-ons that you wanted to it. And of course, you can use any model you like these are just like it gives you that, those as examples of how big the actual model is so sentinel sized so you could use uh, maybe the Skatari strider i can't remember what it's called actually it's gone out of my head i did an unboxing of one though uh something that's a walker basically and is about that size um but you could use any vehicle you want really and they all come with the jury rigged option if you use those vehicles uh these are the upgrades for the vehicles as we go along we have lots of rules in here for that and then purchase war gear and, uh, this is the all outrider quad so these are update this is updated rules again from the box set and the points costs have changed it's now much cheaper to have a harpoon quad than it is to have a heavy bolter quad uh, when i worked out anyway i might have been wrong i did it really quickly so if i'm wrong i'm apologizing but when I worked out the points costs, they were completely different, so I think they've updated them all and again validated the ones that are in the box set, but there we go. Um, 
Now we have the standard Ridge Runner, so you can buy the Ridge Runner as standard. Did I miss the Wolf Quad? I got miles past that. Or is it on the next page? That's oh, that Rider Quad. Ah, oh, fair enough. It must be on the next page. So we've got the Ridge Runner, that's 95 credits for the Ridge Runner, and then you add the weapons on you want and any upgrades you want to give it. So you can just take the stock box, you can just buy the Gene Stealer uh, Cult vehicle, and then just uh, the good thing about the Ridge Runner is it doesn't take much to convert it because you can just have it hatches down and then you don't even need to like put um, any of the ganger things on. So if you really want to, if you don't like converting things, that's one of the best vehicles just to pick up. And uh, literally all you have to do is maybe paint the gang, the gang symbol on it and do it in your gang colours and you're done. Um, if you want to convert a little bit, you know, you've got like the guy coming out, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The guy coming out of the hatch, you could do that, or have somebody stood on the back with a weapon. Easy conversions. Uh, we have the wolf quad, there it is, uh, and that's again in the G Steelers army. And then we have the rock grinder, which is the Goliath rock grinder. Um, and you can have it there with or without the ram, because the rock grinder ram is, a, is actually an option on there, so you can have it just as the truck. And uh, then we have the Ridge Hauler, which is the new Necromunda vehicle, which we'll be unboxing in the next video. And uh, that's the one that can get really big and have multiple backs. I think it can have up to four trailers after you've got like the the main part, turn it into a train. I think that's the idea, and it having a big land train. I quite like it, even though it literally is just a trailer and the munitions cargo container I always like those containers uh, weirdly so I kind of like this um, maybe I'd like to see something a bit more inventive but it kind of works for Necromunda so um, I'm okay with it uh, I want to see the model put together though so I'll reserve complete judgment on the model until it's together and uh, we have the original trailer sold separately and Something which was interesting is that you've got Promethium tanks here as well. So you've got the munitions canister with the big thing that's shown there. But you've also got Promethium tanks and there's slightly different rules. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to get another add-on for this with a separate trailer which has got the tank on. And then you can have it hauling Promethium. And because there's like a, I think it's a transport area. Which it specifically says is around the top. So I'm assuming it's going to have like walkways around the top of it. I'm not sure. But we'll we'll see. Then we have some nice little pictures of the ridge hauler. Uh, from the sides uh, in various gang colours. We have the one in black which is all ox. And S1, I just think it's been on the website. And then just a normal ridge hauler with a trailer. That's a two page spread. Got a Van Sar one. And we got a Dilac one. We got, uh, uh, I think that's a Goliath one, is it? Yes, it is. Try to read sideways. I presume that's a scum one because it's just a pilgrim pattern ridge hauler. And uh, that's it. Battles in the wasteland. So generating battlefield conditions. Yeah, and from here on, a lot of stuff that was in the book in the box set, uh, the Ash Wastes, is repeated. Uh, we have all the stuff for making roads and running the scenarios a nice picture of the ridge hall again we have uh, the pictures of the squats pictures of the ash waste nomads and then we have the ash waste nomads tactical uh, cards if you've not been able to get hold of the cards or just don't want the cards they, they actually got them in here as well so that's useful and then we have the squat cards there I've actually got managed to get hold of them. They arrived separately from this though, so um, I'll see if I can pick them up uh, before I uh, finish this video. Uh, we have the all vehicle tactic cards, which was showed on the video last time we did a Necromunda one. And then we have the skills, which is basically the driving skills. Again, I think a lot of this was in that book, so that's for all repeats. Um, and then vehicle rules. This, I think, is almost, I don't think there's anything different. I haven't really had a chance to go through it with a fine tooth comb, whatever one of those is. But um, I don't think there's any different in these rules to the ones in the main book, to be honest. 
Um, so this is just repeats again. And then we have some pictures of the modules. I talked about those in the last video, so I'm not going to spend any time talking about those. If you watch the video, you know how I feel about them. Uh, and then we've got the weapons charts. And personal equipment. So again, covering rules that are in... There's some new ones like the Sky Man, so it's actually got the rules for it now. Uh, but it covers the equipment and everything. And, uh, and this is pretty much the book. So it's in the same format as other Necromunda books. It contains a lot of information which was in the Ash Wastes um, book. It sort of invalidates a lot of the stuff in the Ash Wastes book to be honest. If you haven't picked up the Ash Wastes and you've already played Necromunda you don't even need to get that book, you can just get this one to be honest. I can't think of anything, I might be, if there's anything put it in the comments, but I can't think of anything that's, um, if you've already played Necromunda, you've got the basic Necromunda rules from one of the other sets. I can't think of anything that's not in this that you would need from the main box. So if you're only interested in getting squats and getting mobile with your squats or all locks, just get there. Um, yeah, it's a good book. I was hoping that you would have the stuff for the other gangs in here. I know there's only all locks on the front cover, other than the two New York gangs. But I was hoping at least we'd have like Goliath vehicle, crew, etc, etc. Like I said before, no. Uh, so hopefully that's going to come in another book. I'm hoping that is another book and not a series of books. We'll see. But, it's enough of me griping. I think it's good. I, don't, I think it's got squats in it and it's got a wasteland workshop in it. Those are its strong points. Uh, the updated rules for the two gangs here. I said at the time, I think, that there were quite bare bones rules and you would need some updates. Um, so I was kind of expecting that. Uh, the vehicle rules again, I thought it was a bit unnecessary. Unless you've just not got the main box set, then you can just buy this. But if you've already bought the box set, it's kind of a necessary waste that's in here and it could have been filled with something different. Uh, but there we go, it's got squats and a wasteland workshop. That alone, for me, it was worth buying. Uh, maybe not at the price it's at, but that's a, another discussion. And so there we go, so that's the book. So let's have a look at the actual squat models. So let's unlock this. Let's use the, uh, the old clippers rather than struggling with it. I haven't looked at the sprues online, I have no idea what's on here. I'm assuming that they've pretty much kitted out this with what's on the box. Um, just to show you on the box, we have uh, the Trout Master, that's the burner, uh, stone burner, which I think goes on his back. Power hammer, we have uh, the bio boosters, uh, which is just that thing on his arm, and that's an iron head auto pistol. I'm assuming that's a nine head, a heavy stubber. I'm assuming they're the bolt guns. I think that's a sorry, they're the bolt pistols. That's the bolt gun. That's a stub gun. Actually, that could be the auto gun. They look very similar to the bolt gun in the auto. Right, the tip of that looks like an auto gun. That'll be the bolt gun then with the ammo showing. Um, and those two are just the same. So I'm assuming that's all that's in here. I hope I'm wrong. I don't think I will be, but we'll see. Okay. So we have two identical sprues. We have our bases. They look like 32mm, they're 28mm. That's down here. Uh, we have our instructions, which is just two little pages. Cool. Um, so it looks like these are pretty basic to put together to be honest which I'm, there's no argument for me on that front that's great so we have uh, so look on the back yeah got the heavy stubber auto gun 
bolt gun, pistols, auto pistols and stub guns. Right, so if you've got any plans on giving them any kind of flame weapons or melter weapons, not yet. I'm sure that'll come in a separate box. Another thing about this, there's only eight models in this crew, uh, not ten like the other ones. Yeah. Um, Oh, God. That was going to open a lot easier than that. That was noisy. It's where all the extra plastic's gone that's going to make that. Uh, we have these bases here, we should say on there. It's been a little while since I've had a look at a space frame, but these look smaller than 32mm. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I hope they're 28mm actually. There's, a, there's more bases here than there is models, and I could do with a spare one of those. Uh, I think you would just say underneath. That's the size of the base, anyway. Um, I'll go and check against the 32mm base before I finish. But there we go. Uh, let's build. Let's have a look at what's on here today. This is one of the sprues. a nice clean looking sprue if you will that's the positive thing and then the uh, negative is obviously we're going to give you all these choices in the book and then only give you two or three choices on the sprue that is disappointing very disappointing to be honest um, I understand what happened at the beginning with the way they were trying to sell Mac and why the early gangs came with very few options but I thought we were past that but anyway, they, they want to sell us an extra box with just as weapons in, which is kind of the format for the Horus Heresy as well, which is why I haven't bought any. Uh, but I'm sort of hooked on Necromunda, so that's why we're here having this conversation. So uh, let's um, build the charter map. Let's have a look at this guy. So he consists of part one and two, part four and three. And then we have optional parts for the head, either 27 or 18. It looks like that is also optional parts though. So look, so you can basically give them any head, which is great. Right. The, the more things they put in this where it's just multiple options, the better for me, um, as far as I'm concerned. So we can put any head on we want. It looks like we have the option of visors or not visors for most of these. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and get some of those off, have a look at them. Then we need part 6, 55, 56 and 51. And that's all part of this stone burner backpack. Uh, 64 looks like some grenades. And then we have um, 30, 31 and 32, this tiny bit there. I'm not sure why that bit's separate. And then a two part hammer, 28 and 29. And that should give us all these parts to build the leader. Let's get those off the sprue. Okay, we're back. And just to confirm, that's a 13mm base. This is definitely a 28mm base. Good. Uh, class Sister of Battle, which is still waiting for spare base. Can finally have one, because there are 10 bases in this, and there's only 8 guys. Ah, there we go. So, this dude. Let's get myself some glue ready. There we go. We have parts one and two, which are the body. Straightforward enough. And on this one we have parts three and four, which are the legs. This guy's got actually got like a pretty cool long coat type thing going on. These get added straight on to the body. Make sure that meets 
this up. Right stuff, that is the body. Uh, they had, we have these cool open I wanted heads like this. And then we have these. Now, I don't see any of them that don't have any on, I might be wrong. All of them have got this like miner's attachment. And by putting that on, you cover up half the face, which I think is a design flaw. Uh, that fits onto the and then covers up quite a large part of the face on that so yeah and it does go in that position it doesn't like slide back it, it really should sort of like slide back because there's two little lines on the top of the helmet which should be great to make it slide but the way it's designed it's an end piece so it won't go on suppose you could glue a bit further back if you found it down a bit, but there you go. I'm going to leave that on as it is. It's a shame really because it covers up some of the details of the face, and the faces are quite cool, so it just seems like a waste. You could leave them off, why not? I wouldn't blame you if you did. There we go, that is the, the head together. Then we have this bit, which is some uh, random MacGuffin. Random MacGuffin attaches onto the side here. So we'll glue that on. Uh, once that's dry. Then we have the three part uh, sort of backpack with a two part randomly robotic arm, which I don't really think needs to be in three pieces. Two would have done. I'm complaining a lot today, aren't I? Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so this has got a ring which attaches over that sort of or onto that. That's a strange attachment. Yeah, that ring goes on there. It doesn't really fit onto anything. I suppose it gives you some flexibility though as to the positioning. And then we have uh, so that was part 51, 56, and 55 of these two parts. And uh, yeah, they attach via that little widget there, and then it gives you some control over position as well. That will then go on to the back. The there's plenty of detail on that. You, you wouldn't need to stick it on if you didn't want to, um, which is great. I do like that feature. Um, and then we have this little bit which is the grenade which goes on the side. So let me stick all those parts onto the body now that it's beginning to dry and then we'll come back and do the arms. So we have our body there of our dude together. I've put it on the base uh, just because it's easier to hold on to on the base. And uh, there we go. So it does need a 28mm base, I think, for the size of it. So, um, so if anyone was thinking of putting it on the smaller 25 Necromunda bases, it might be. You could do it. It'd just be a little bit big. Um, it's a shame Games Workshop just put it on normal bases, but that's. They're meant to be outdoors, aren't they? So there we go. Uh, so uh, we have the arm, which consists of part 30, part uh, 31. And then this weird little part, which is probably the thumb. So that should fit in there. And there's a little gap left for the thumb to go in. So makes sense to maybe put that in first. And create a little gap. And then we can add in the thumb. Uh, why this has to be separate. I have no idea. And which way around it goes is um, a mystery as well. Wow. It's literally that small, I can barely see it. Oh my god.
feels like that should. Oh, there we go. I think. <laughs> what a faff. Just for a thumb piece. Wow. Just wow. Alright, I'll need to do this off camera. Yeah, there we go. After much pointless faffing, it goes in so it's like that. So you've got to, the weird way that it's cut out, you've got to slot it into both pieces. So you've got to kind of do it at the same time that this is still wet glue, you can't do it separately. Otherwise, it may not go in. There we go. The hammer is made up of two parts, which I hope is easy. Shouldn't be. We have a nice little peg on this one. So, there we go. That's better, designers. What the hell's this? Uh, and then we just put the the arms in place. So we'll put uh, that one on. It's got a ball connection joint type thing going on, so there is some positioning you can do on it. You can squeal it around a little bit. There we have this. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like the picture a little bit and that is our squat leader holding forth his mighty hammer yep I'm very disappointed there's no axes in this I thought power axes would have been a prerequisite uh, for dwarves and I would have thought picks for miners but we have a single hammer yay so this dude is done the others go together in a very similar manner. We have legs, bodies, all here. Uh, we have uh, one and two again, going with four, three again, uh, part 60, 64. All these MacGuffin parts would be optional. They all seem to have this backpack, this 51, 52, 54, 53. The backpack looks very similar. None of them have the extra arms on. I think there's only one on the kit. Uh, well, one on the sprue, two in the kit. Um, although for 70 points, in, well 70 credits, um, you're not going to be starting with more than one probably. Um, we have 5 and 6 here, 61, 7 and 8 for the legs and 58 for that. We have uh, 9 and 10 for the body, we have 63 for a bit of MacGuffin, 12 and 11 for the legs and the bit of MacGuffin is 59. We have 13 and 14 for the body, 16 and 15 for the body, uh, 62 and 57 there. So this just makes up all these body parts, which I'm going to do off camera because it's just repeating what I've done. Again, optional heads, they should fit. I like the fact we have multiple heads and bodies that can go in any way you want. And that the weapon do go on separate, that's a plus. And again, makes me think they'll bring out a weapons uh, add-on sprue, which is just like these bits because that would be much cheaper for them just to do these bits. Uh, I will be building at least a heavy stub uh, and a bolt gun and I'm not quite decided yet so I'll do all that off camera and I'll stick them together because those are pretty straightforward just arms attaching to weapons. So I'll come back with the crew that I have built and it should be a nice selection of the few weapons that are in this kit. So let's do that. Okay, so I built the uh, the guys I'm building from my dudes, my uh, gang. Um, so we have our charter master, I to name him. Uh, he's got a stone burner, as we know, a power hammer, and I've given him the light carpace armor. And that's him, basically. He's rocking in at 310 credits. And then we have a drill master uh, with a heavy stubby and a mesh armor. And that's him. Rocking in at 240 credits. 
Uh, we have some drill kin, which are these guys. Uh, this one, it's coming at 120 credits. He is a iron head shot, oh, sorry, iron autogun, and a medica kit, and some mesh armor. 120 points. And then we have this guy, again, drill kin, with the bolt gun, and some mesh armor. Then we have a digger with the also pistol and some flak armor and stub gun with dum dum bullets and some flak armor again a uh, another digger and that uh, if I've done my correct calculations correct I've been duping these together comes about 960 credits leaving about 40 credits in the stash. Uh, which can't really spend anything. I would have liked to have given this guy a proper gun. The only weapon on the whole sprue, which will go in a right arm, is a bolt pistol. Which is 45 credits and I'm about 40 left. Um, I could maybe have just put a bolt pistol on there and called it an auto pistol until he upgrades it. But to be honest, I'd already stuck him together at that point. And. That literally is the only other option other than an arm with a but with a bile thing on. Um, yeah, so there's not a lot of multi-part options in this multi-part kit, to be honest. But that is it. Uh, the models, I like them. I like squats of old. I like these ones. Um, I always said that the next army I'll get in 40k will be a squat army. And thankfully there will be no squat army because the Leagues of Voltan are not squats. So I won't be getting those. Uh, <laughs> thanks games workshop you've done me a favour but yeah these guys I do actually like them I like the models um, there's a lot of MacGuffin on them that doesn't necessarily need to be there but it's quite nice to have but I would much rather have had weapons options on the sprue I located the cards so let's uh, take a look at those alright so hopefully you are seeing these on the camera I am going to just let you read through them and rhyme them off so we have some tactics cards here, so we have Mother Load. Come here. We have Fire in the Hole. We have Running Repairs. They are stuck together. We have Ancestral Weapon. We have Honor the Ancestors. We have a card there underneath. Uh, listen to your Elders. Finest Craftsmanship, Veteran of the Wastes, Made to Take a Beating, we have Scrapper's Delight, we have Death Blow, I said Death Below then, I'm like what? Just say Death Blow. Death Blow would have made sense, the miners. Uh, too Stubborn to Die, Running on a Vapors. Vengeance of the Ironhead. We have Brace for Impact. We have Salt Tunnel. We have Get Back. We have Thermal Visor. And then we have our blank cards. There. Uh, no vehicle cards, I don't think. I think I'll just. Just what cards? Yeah. <coughs> Gang cards. So there we go. So that's what you get in those cards, that's what you get in the box, that's what you get in the book. Overall I like the models, like I said I like squats, I want to see, we've got the quad bikes for the Orc, I want to see trikes for these guys, I want um, to see Leviathans and airships ideally and some mole machines but you know, but trikes at least, <laughs> I'll probably buy a Goliath to go with these guys and uh, Paint them up so they can be like in a mining thing because the glide is probably the nearest mining thing. One of those rock, rock uh, crusher, rock something uh, rams on the front. That's what um, I want to see. I want to see some more things coming out for these guys in the future. Um, 
and that's it really. So in the next video we're going to be taking a look at the, the Ridge Hauler, the big uh, land train kit with an extra trailer because this I got an extra trailer as well. Um, and uh, we'll put that together and see what it's like. So stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm on my own because uh, Claire's with, with Robert at the moment, so hopefully she'll join us for the next video. But um, if it's not, it'll just be me again. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been helpful. Um, I hope uh, I haven't been too anti Games Workshop or anti their policies. Uh, I do like the models. Um, so, yeah. So thanks, please like and subscribe and hopefully we shall see you again soon and bye for now.